another day for you in math class you were trying to focus but you are feeling super sleepy as you didn't sleep well last night cuz you were watching jungle be life you end up sleeping but wake up when someone knock on your desk you look up and see it was none other than your cold as professor deong he glare at you and say deong in my office after lecture you sighing in frustration as you always get caught by him you sit properly and stick your tongue out at him as he wasn't looking at you for a moment and whisper under your breath all teacher are the most unpredictable creature and especially this mr kim he got handsome face but rude mouth why god even give him that face when he can't keep in smile with that whatever you start doing some after class you come in to cabin and see him reading notes you went in front so he will notice when ya yeah, mr kim i am here to guess your marks miss when when how i am supposed to know to 45 out of 80 is that how are you going to get roll in big company i don't think so when i'm sorry sir i will try hard to you always say same thing every time when if you don't show improvement this time i will make sure to put you in the art pool when i won't let the situation come sir you lightly bow to him and start going but he stop you down here is some question paper for you solve them within two weeks and submit to me your jaw drops seeing the bundle of question paper when but sir this is too much down does it look like i care now go you are just wasting both of our time you sign and unwillingly nodding and then taking the bundle you left You come home and see your parents talking with a mid old age lady. Your mother look at you and smile and bring you to couch and make you sit. And you greet that lady making her smile. Then she say, "Such an obedient and decent girl you have, Miss Chung. I know my son will like her." You get confused at her statement but decide not to say anything as you don't want to look bad. After that lady left, you went to your mother and ask, "Why?" Mom, who was that lady? Why, Mom? Oh, she was Miss Kim. She is such a generous lady. I want to tell you something too. Why? Yeah, Mom. Say, you say while picking up the strawberry and put it in your mouth. Why? We have fixed your marriage. As soon you hear this, you got shock on phone and look at your mother in disbelief. Why? Was it was some kind of joke? How can you both just fix my marriage with a stranger? Mom, I don't even know why, Mom. He is a nice guy, so what's the problem? The marriage proposal like this are difficult to find, and they don't have any problem if you continue your study after marriage. Why, but still, Mom, you should have at least asked me. Why, Mom, you are too innocent to understand marriage things, dear. At least let us take this decision for you. As your parents, we have all right, and it's also not that you have boyfriend. So what's the problem? And that boy is handsome, single. He is a professor too, so you can ask him to teach you too. And if you don't believe me, should I show you his photo? Why? Hmm. All right. Do as you like. As soon your mom show you that boy photo, you feel like the earth slip under your foot when you see none other than your professor Kim. Why? Oh no, no, mom. Why him in all guys? Why, mom? You know him. Why? Obviously, he is my professor. He is so cool, mom. Why, mom? It must be his nature. But still, he is a nice guy. I am not gonna take my word back. Now go to your room and rest or study. Why? Oh, mom, fake cry. Your mom ignore you, so you just left. Next day, Tim call you in his office. You go there and see him bit frustrated. Tim, so by now you must have known that your and my parents have fixed our marriage why yeah i do do i accept it as i don't want to let my mom down this is the first thing she asked me do you accept why yeah i accept as well cuz i know my parents will do what is good for me do so I listen to my some instruction mm, for sit down you know it and then say do so after marriage I hope you don't behave like childish. And second, I want you to behave properly. Don't you do any mess in house. You don't have to do any household chores. I have made and yeah, 
Marrying me doesn't mean you will get special treatment from me at the university, understand? Why, yeah, yeah I did. Damn, you can go now. You know it and start going. After marriage, now you are at Tim's house with him. You were struggling with your crown. Tim noticed it and said, Tim, why even guys have to wear these kind of heavy stuff such a bother? He pick you up, making you gasp loudly. Why, and wh- what are you doing, Mr. Kim? Tim, helping you maybe. Don't get any wrong thought. I just don't want to look like a bad husband. Why, and, uh, oh, uh, alright. He keep his cold voice and take you. He put you down and adjust his clothes. Then he take his pillow and went to put it on sofa. And then he went to bathroom without saying a word. At the time he sat on bed, looking around the room, thinking how your marriage life is going to be with a man who seemed like to hate you because of your marks. Soon he come out wearing wild shirt and pajamas. You blush at his muscular body was visible in it. He take a book from shelf and sit on the other side of bed. Focusing on reading, you get up to go bathroom, but stop when you say, Damn, did you complete the bundle I gave you? Why, uh, yeah, few are left. Damn, fine, show me the other one then. Why, bruh, right now? Damn, what do you mean right now? Do study has any time to do? Why, no, no, I'm bringing. You hand him your soft sheet and left your bathroom and soon you come back in comfortable clothes. Tim, come here. You slowly nod and went to him, keeping the well good distance as you know. He never let any student stand close to him. Why, yes, what's up, Mr. Kim? Tim, first of all, don't call me Mr. Kim at home. And second, you have improved in these papers. He showed the small smile for the first time making you heart flattered. You feel like you get reason to motivate yourself by seeing the most cool professor in the world for you, smiling at you. Why, and thank you, Mr. I mean, Tim. I will try better next time. He nodded slowly. That small smile faded away from his face. And then he cleared his throat and said, Tim, as I have already told you, don't tell anyone in university that we are married. Why, and yeah, I remember. But why so? It's fine if you don't wanna tell me, just curious. Tim, you don't have to know. You slowly nodded and say, Vine, where I'm going to sleep? Without saying a word, he pointed sofa. Vine, huh? Sofa? But why should I sleep there? Tim, I don't like to sleep with anyone. Vine, you got huge house. I can go to other room. Tim, mom has locked the door. Now stop being chatterbox and sleep. You have classes tomorrow. Why, and I will just set my bed on floor to sleep. It will be more comfortable. Damn, do as you like. He then continued reading his book. And he set up the bed on floor and sleep quickly because of the tiring day. But the thing that keeps forming in your mind is why Damn don't want anyone to know that you both are married. You start getting thought that he hates to marry with a dumb girl like you. He would have expect a smart girl you get upset but decide to keep it to yourself. Next day, you woke up and find yourself stand on floor. You sang as you were expecting him to put you on bed while you sleep. But he didn't. You sit back and see he was not on bed and the thing on bed and room were placed neatly. You get fresh enough and ready for university. And then you went downstairs to look for Tim. You come downstairs and see him having his breakfast. Vine, good morning. Tim, hmm. Vine, I'm going to university. See you there. Tim, what about breakfast? Vine, oh, I don't usually eat it. You say and start going, but stop when you say, Tim, I will drop you. Vine, pardon? He get up and take his car key. Tim, you're already late for university. Come with me. He say without any emotions and then left outside. So you follow him. After coming far enough, you tell Tim to stop the car. He give you a confused look. Why, you want no one to know that we are married. So, I should walk to university from here myself. Tim, oh yeah. You went out from car and you drive off. When you reach in your classroom, Tim has come there too. 
A new girl entered in classroom. Jim told her to introduce herself. She did so. You are feeling a bit jealous when you see that girl standing near to Tim. But you get relief as Tim moves away without any hesitation. Days went like this. That girl is good in studies, so she openly went to Tim to ask questions. You feel sad, but you know you can't do anything in this. One day, you look, when she went to ask Tim some question, you notice a small smile on Tim's face. As she solved a difficult question, you get annoyed and focus on your book. Later that night, you were studying peacefully, ignoring Tim. Now you notice that you are upset. Tim, I am not gonna sleep. Why? I am studying. He nodded and went to bed. While you keep studying, as you wanna get good marks this time, so Tim will praise and smile at you too. You make that your goal around four o'clock in morning. Tim wake up and see you studying with sleepy eyes. He sighs slowly. As you see, you fall asleep. Soon, he places the blanket on you and makes your head place in comfortable position. Then he say, "Tim, such a stubborn girl she is." He say and went back to bed and sleep. And after one hour, you wake up and see Tim sleeping. You get ready for university early and left the chat on table saying, "I am leaving for university myself today. See ya." These days, you only focus on your study and not even getting enough sleep. Tim also start worrying about you, but didn't show. He help you when you get trouble in study. He want you to be good student, but he didn't want you to overwork yourself. As more day pass, you even has stop taking proper meals. Next day in lunch break, when everyone left the classroom, only you and Tim were left. You focus once on your book, so you didn't notice him till he went to you and clear his throat. Then you look up just to see him looking directly in your eyes, making you blush and gulp. Damn, it's lunch time. Why? I'm not hungry. Small smile. He slowly nodded and start going. Then you start studying again. He turned to take a last look at you and left. After you done, you decide to went out to take fresh air. As soon you reach the door, you feel like losing your balance and you end up losing your consciousness before your body can hit the ground. Tim pick you up with worried face. You didn't realize it was him, as you are already faint. When you wake up, you feel a big pain in your head and slowly sit back and see Tim, who was moving back and forth and worried. When he see you awake, he again put his cold yet worried face. Tim, are you okay? Van, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Tim, he should eat. If you don't, you are gonna starve to death. And then, how will he give you exams? Van, that's fine. I'm gonna be okay in a day. Tim, I know that as well. Now sleep. He say and left bathroom. You blush as you know he care, even though he never show. Soon a nurse enters inside your room to give you medicine. Nurse, here, miss, your medicine. You took the medicine. Then the nurse smile and say, Nurse, ma'am, you are so lucky to have husband like Mr. Kim. You know how worried he was when he come in hospital carrying you. He was shouting at doctor to immediately check on you. You get shocked as you didn't expect him to do this. Why? Thanks for telling me. Time skipped after exam at result day. You were so nervous as you don't wanna get poor marks this time. You start checking from down, but your name was not there. So you start looking up in list. You breathe it when you see your name on the top. You smile wildly and run out from crowd and happiness and directly went to Tim Kevin to tell him. This time, you didn't knock on door and directly went inside just to see him working on his file. You went and hugged him in happiness. He gets shocked because of your sudden action. Why? Thank you, Tim. You are my inspiration. Tim finally smiled and say, "Tim, I'm glad I was useful to you." At the graduation day, you went to stage happily to take your degree, but suddenly the video play of you and Tim when you were hugging him and. Going home in his car, then that new girl come on stage and say, "Tia, sorry for disturbing, but this girl isn't worthy for the scholarship like this. She seduced Mr. Kim and get at this position." Everyone start gossiping. You get shocked when she did this. She start explaining and say bad thing about you. You just look down, unable to say anything. 
Suddenly, then Tim Kamar didn't get the mic. Tim, dear students and all the teacher present here, all of you know how is my nature is, so I don't have to explain that part. And second, why is my wife not any stranger? And about me telling her exam sheet that impossible, cause the sheet was made and keep by director itself. And you all the students from my class know that how wine hard work. And if you still don't believe wine, then with her I am leaving this job here too. That's all I gotta say. You look at Tim with tears in your eyes, and then suddenly everyone start clapping, and some students shout, "We know why do this on our own. We believe her." Tim lastly sighs and say. Dear, this is to wine, as you know how my nature was toward you ever since. Cause I want you to be brave, and I didn't show you affection to you. Cause I want you to be focused on your studies, and I tell you not to tell anyone about our marriage. Cause I don't want other to blame you like today. But after all this thing, I would like to say one more. I I have felt for you and realized it now. It took me long, but you are the same as Mac for me. Tear drop from your eyes as you never expect him to stand for you and confess to you in front of whole university. You went to him and hugged him tightly. Why? I love you too.